don't move it till I say. Oh! Oh! Okay, oh! it's on my foot. Talking bowels, cheese grated skin, and doing the sponge dance. Today, we are back at it, reacting to and breaking down all of the most extreme medical scenes and most painful injuries from someone that lives in the pineapple under the sea. SpongeBob SquarePants, let's dive right in. Don't move it till I say. Oh! Okay, oh. it's on my foot. I have seen so many broken toes, dislocated toes, ruptured toenails, ripped off toenails, cracked toenails, bleeding toes, lacerations, all related to pieces of furniture. Killing machines. Oh. Okay. Dislocations, very easy to put back together. We'll literally use some numbing medication, pop that joint right back in, and usually you're just fine. Because of the necessity of that toe being so important to the body for balance and movement, we want it to heal right. Ow! SpongeBob, I told you not to move it till I said. Oh. Have you ever broken a toe? I've actually broken a toe. I played a lot of soccer, AKA football, and the toes have gotten a little messed up. I don't need you. I can move it myself. <laughs> <laughs> Do we get amputated toes? Severed toe, you just said it. The only time I ever see toes not there is when a diabetic ends up having an infection or necrosis of the toe and it needs to be surgically removed. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> we literally get people who come to the emergency department where their skin is scalped off of their head here, where it's like a big flap. If the flap is actually thick enough, we can sew that right back down and it'll take and your body will kind of reconnect it and it'll be fine. Barnacles. Barnacles, some teeth, you see your incisors, you see molars on the bottom. And then obviously you're seeing all the different muscles. Not so bad. This is not so bad. We have a lot of different muscles of our face. They go in all different directions. What is going on here? <laughs> <laughs> We see degloving injuries, pretty intense. Usually it's from a trauma. Sometimes you can actually just slide it all back together. Other times the patient needs to have multiple skin grafts and multiple surgeries to cover those areas. Oh, what? Tape hurts. Sometimes when you go to surgery, they'll actually shave the area, but they'll actually use tape, like duct tape. They'll just make sure that there's no extra hairs that's floating around and reduce the possibility of wound infections. He can't treat us like this anymore. <laughs> The eyeballs have six muscle attachments on the back of the eye, plus the optic nerve. So you'd see all of that. At least we got the skull with the teeth up into the maxilla, the ribs almost coming all the way around the heart and the lungs, and we got some intestines. So we got some anatomy here in SpongeBob. <laughs> I said I will not. What? Oh my gosh. Squid squeezy. What the heck? We do see people who come in with skin flapped open. The only other time I ever see the anatomy of the inside major traumas is actually when we cut open the chest ourselves and we do a thoracotomy. But most of the time when I'm seeing intestines, it's usually on a CT scan. I'm assuming that's like squid ink or something. Hold still, buddy. Whoa. In the elderly population, their skin is so thin. You could literally put a piece of tape on. If you rip too hard or pull tape too hard, you can rip their skin off. They lose a lot of the subcutaneous fat underneath the skin. So there's not much holding it together. Oh. We actually see a lot of people come to the emergency department with abscesses in the armpit, clogged glands, and you get this horrible, cheesy smelling white purulent comes out. Dr. Pimple Popper is probably the place to go to take a look at those things. Band-Aid in the armpit. We actually refer to the armpit medically as your axilla. Having a Band-Aid over that seems like nothing compared to an abscess in your armpit. Oh. <gasps> oh my gosh. Burn face on the grill. Sometimes you have to cauterize tissue and we use different techniques in the emergency department to do small little burns and you can smell things in the operating room. The smell of burning flesh is awful. The beach? Just you and me? Whoa. 
Whoa, whoa. I like that he's got the snaggle tooth, the one tooth there, but we got good striations of muscle, different directions. I love it. So am I ready for the beach, SpongeBob? Uh, sure. Little sunscreen, and I'm sure you'll be fine. So we have sunscreen, sunblock. Make sure that when you do go out in the sun, please use something, but also use stuff that is safe for the environment as well. But trust me, I'm the sunscreen. Cheese <laughs> Okay, I don't see too many cheese grater injuries. I do you see a lot of salon injuries where like people who cut hair, their scissors are so sharp that they actually may cut themselves and they just bleed like heck. Oh, my We'll see people who get crush injuries from heavy weights. Obviously we worry about fracture, making sure that you don't have a release of potassium into your system, which then could lead to destruction of other byproducts of the body. My life. What is up with this guy's leg? Don't ever put anything in the garbage disposal that shouldn't go there because you don't know if it's on or not. Something's gonna get caught up in there and you can take your hand off, take your foot off. Oh my gosh, their legs are up in the air and now they're bouncing on their groin. No matter what type of genitalia you have down there, it's gonna hurt. That's gotta hurt. You're bouncing on your pubic bones. If you bounce on the vaginal tissue, that hurts on your labia. And then if you bounce on your testicles or your penis, that's gonna hurt a lot too. Uh, oh! <laughs> I've never seen somebody pull off their own limb. I've seen people kind of rip their own tissue, but not be able to just tear apart their own leg. One, the pain would be not tolerated and the mechanics are way off. Let's go get a Krabby Patty. <laughs> Trample injuries are a real thing. People get crushed by people stepping on them, causing fractures to the ribs, causing a hemothorax, pneumothorax, maybe traumatic brain injury, and then also asphyxiation where they can't breathe and they can become hypoxic and die. <laughs> Oh, whoa. People do get struck by lightning. That is a direct current, a DC. Electrical injuries typically cause cardiac arrhythmias and then can cause a lot of burning. Ooh, burn. Tissue destruction, a lot of injuries on that level. So you have to be really careful. Perhaps a soothing limerick will calm thee. There once was a dragon so handsome and smart He let me go free for he had a big heart <laughs> Everyone be a critic Obviously if you get electrocuted any which way Get to the hospital, get checked out We need to do some blood work, we need to get an EKG We just need to make sure that you're okay There could be an underlying soft tissue injury that you don't see Because there's typically an entrance and an exit wound SpongeBob SquarePants never fails, always interesting Thing, a little kind of out there. If you guys enjoyed this, definitely check out this playlist right here, binge watch everything. And as always, make sure you subscribe, turn on your bell notifications and hit that like button for me. Thank you so much for watching and stay healthy, my friends.